Yo what's up guys welcome to my humble youtube channel where I bring you fanfiction that will brighten your days. Before we start a subscribe is greatly appreciated and don't forget to leave a like and ring the bell icon so you won't miss exciting new fanfiction stories. Rimuru in Akame ga kill by Alex Kuhr 360 Chapter 20 4 Rikshasa Demons Rimuru's pav after my conversation with Karom I know it is best to leave her alone to think, I do not want to be overbearing and make her mad at me. After a few days staying put so Karom could heal enough me finished making our way to the east for our mission to protect Balak, a spy sent to overthrow the Lord, and take over the path of peace religion and bring it under the empire's control. I am already pretty sure that no matter what this guy is going to be dead by the time by the time we leave either by night raid or myself, maybe even s death if he gets too big for his britches. Even though we are far from the capital I am still singular focused on finding Shambhala. Now that I have seen it in action I am pretty confident that I can use it to travel to another world. From the energy I felt when it sent us to that island I am guessing I will need much more energy than I currently possess to send me though. I need to kill Budo and get his Tigu ASAP, currently I am bottlenecked by mana production and according to, Great Sage, Gluttony, will be able to absorb the electrical energy and convert it directly to mana. It is also possible that when I absorb it I will gain a new skill altogether which would be nice. After making our way to the Path of Peace headquarters with Esteth, Karom, Run, Seryu, and Wave we went to meet this Balak. The building itself was very nice, however once we got inside it wasn't so nice. When we arrived in the main hall that resembled more of a throne room it was hard for me to distinguish it from a brothel even though it was supposed to be a religious building. In my past life I wasn't religious but I know this is not how churches are supposed to be at all. The Lord also didn't seem to be the type of person who would support such debauchery, I can only assume this is the work of this Balak we will meet. When we arrived in front of the enthroned person there we half a dozen young women wrapped around him, it was easy to smell the drugs coming off of them. In fact the entire room smelled like an orgy happened here within the last few hours, I would be repulsed if I hadn't gotten somewhat accustomed to these sights since being transported to this world. S. Death was the first one to speak. General S. Death and the Jaegers are here to protect you under the orders of the Prime Minister. She then went on to talk about what things we will need while we are here, he was happy to accommodate us and offered his drugged up pets to enjoy ourselves. Funny enough the Jaegers are an incredible pure group of fighters, especially by the standards of this world. I don't know about Run but of the members still alive I know Seryu, Wave, Karom, S. Death and myself have zero sexual experience so being offered that kind of entertainment I think made most of us kind of uncomfortable. After some back and forth talk S. Death decided to call out the group of four watching us, with magic sense, I could tell that they weren't normal humans, if anything they seemed more like Gazuki with strange body enhancements. That means they must be the four Rikshasa demons. I have heard of them and knew they were sent out of the capital but I am a little surprised to see them here of all places. When this Balak guy introduced them he really hyped them up, especially since I am pretty sure Night Raid could definitely take them out without any casualties. When they spoke to us with an arrogant attitude I could tell they were dead meat, against normal humans they might be a few steps above them but against a Tigu user who is skilled they have a pretty sizable disadvantage. While the rest of the cast was going through their comedy routine I decided to go explore this complex that was the Path of Peace headquarters. I am sure there are some cool hidden rooms and secrets for me to find. Sadly life had other plans for me as I started walking off someone noticed, I couldn't help but sign since now I had brought the attention of everyone in the room to me, if I recall his name is Abara, he seems to the leader of the demons, and he didn't seem to appreciate me walking away while he was trying to act cool in front of us. Where might you be going lady? You have hair similar to the general, are you two related? I wouldn't mind trying my hand against her number two. I couldn't help but look at him with a deadpan expression, if he is under the assumption I am a girl is this how in this world people conquer a maiden, I couldn't help but feel a chill down my non-existent slime spine realizing what this weirdo must be thinking about, if he wants to fight I guess ill just have to beat the shit out of him, maybe I can kill him and say he was just too weak, I replied in a simple manner. Do as you like, if you want to fight I am happy to accommodate. A few people seem slightly surprised by my acceptance but I honestly don't care, there is no need for me to act respectful to these guys, after all respecting the dead is too much to ask for in world like this. While walking towards where we were going to fight, I started thinking about how to have a little fun, 
When we arrived in the courtyard I went to the center and stood there, once everyone was ready I started talking in a lazy tone. Are we fighting until someone is knocked out or incapacitated or are we fighting to the death? Some of the Jaegers were kind of shocked from what I said, I guess this is sort of out of character for me but I am bored and want to have some fun while I wait to go back to the capital to find what I am looking for. While I am waiting for a response I decide to talk again. Fighting with no stakes is not fun, no, something like fighting solely for pride is pointless, so what should the stakes be, I will agree to whatever. This guy has no chance of beating me so to move it along I am provoking him, I can guess based on the company this guy keeps what he will propose. Abara started laughing like an idiot, this guy is really annoying, no matter what he proposes I am going to kill him. If that is you offer I will gladly accept, not taking account curves your beauty exceeds s death, so when I win your body will be mine until your mission in the city is over. For what you get if you win I don't really care. I couldn't help but let out a small devilish smile. This will be a quick fight, I didn't even give a response since this guy doesn't seem to care anyway. Once we got into position to fight I unsheathed my sword, I don't want to use any visible abilities in this fight so I will have to cut this guy up. S death agreed to be the judge, I'm not in which case a judge would intervene in a fight like this but she is here anyway. Once the countdown started, oh I guess S death as the judge is responsible for the countdown, I got ready. When the countdown hit zero Ibarra rushed towards me and tried to grab me by the neck, it was as clear as day to me as I sidestepped his arm. While his arm was extended I chopped his ulnar nerve with my hand, it is commonly called the funny bone, even though it isn't a bone at all. According to my assumption it did nothing to him, his body is definitely modified like Gazuki, maybe even more judging by his distrusting appearance. After some back and forth where I was clearly dominating him even with one hand since I was holding my sword loosely in my other hand. Something I learned in anime in my last life is that if you know your opponent's trump card but they don't know it you can use it against them and use it as an opportunity to land a critical blow. Since I know he can at least extend his limbs I will have the advantage when he tries to do it. After a few more minutes he pulled his arm back, it was clearly him getting ready to extend his arm towards me rapidly. When he started extending rapidly towards me I moved my sword edge in the path of his hand once his momentum was too much to stop. As his hand made with my blade I started moving as I cut down his arm down the area between his ring finger and middle finger, I continued forward until I cut down his arm all the way to the shoulder. Before he could react in any meaningful way I quickly cut off his other arm and legs, while I was cutting I noticed some string like things that came rushing towards me from his chest and appendages. I had to dodge the weird strings but it didn't really matter at this point, after a little while he strings stopped coming after me. I looked to the side and saw some people pale and s death with an evil grin that would make almost anyone shiver. After he was down on the ground I went to a table off to the side and picked up a bottle of alcohol and a candle and went back over to my enemy. As I poured alcohol on him I said in my same bored and deadpan voice. I'll be taking your life as compensation for such a boring fight. Then I dropped the candle on him and went back to stand with s death and the other Jaegers. The Bollock guy was the first to speak to me, he seemed very angry. You just killed him, the prime minister is going to have your head, you can't just go around killing his men. Thankfully s death responded for me, I don't want to get in an argument, if anything I want to explore and maybe find something interesting in this complex. Why would he get punished? A duel to the death is just that, if anything that Ibarra was arrogant and died because he was too weak to survive, in this world the strong rule and the weak submit. Unless you would disagree with me. If you think you have the strength to do what you want against me come at me anytime. Let's go. Jaegers we are going to set up a defense for when night raid attacks. The weak people can do what they want for now. With that we all went to go check out the area and get ready to defend it, as I was walking away I saw the hate in the other rakshasa demon's eyes. I don't know if it because I killed their friend or because I trampled on their pride but I don't care, they're as good as dead anyways. The 